Hi, Longmont. My name is Karen Stallard. I'm the membership director with the Longmont Area Chamber of Commerce. The Longmont Chamber has been working hard to support our local businesses and connect the community during this challenging time because we don't think that being physically distanced means that we can't still socially connect and support one another. So I'd like to tag in Jessica Wanasek, the Chamber Event Director, to tell you a little bit about what we've been up to. Hey everyone, so the Longmont Chamber of Commerce has been hosting daily Facebook Live events Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. over on our Chamber Facebook page. We are featuring a local business or a nonprofit while having fun interactive activities, giveaways, and just connecting with our community. We wanted to share the fun with you after the fact, so we are airing all of our episodes from last week with you here now so you can enjoy. And we hope that you see some familiar faces from around Longmont. And remember, if you ever want to see the live thing, just tune into the Chamber Facebook page at 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Or check out a themed list of businesses over on our Chamber website. www.longmontchamber.org forward slash Longmont is open. And find a business that you would like to support. Enjoy the show. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Come on in. We're going to give it a second or two. Let the audience come in and have a seat. Maybe grab a drink or two. We have kind of a, a fun, exciting uh, Tuesday tunes and arts ahead of us uh, this afternoon. So uh, when you come in, comment and say hello. Um, like I said before, I hate feeling like I'm in here talking to myself. Um, so it's always nice to uh, see some comments. Let me know that you guys are here and you're watching. Um, share these videos. It helps share the love of um, our guests that we have on. It helps uh, bring some um, awareness to the businesses that we're highlighting every day. So make sure to like and share uh, these videos. It helps. Um, today we are going to have a lucky winner, uh, one lucky commenter. We're going to have a quiz towards the end of today's stream. And uh, my guest and I are going to choose the winner today. And you guys are in for a really cool treat uh, as far as um, the giveaway uh, prize today goes. So you're going to want to hang in with that. Um, if you want to see the list of businesses that we are um, highlighting and showcasing every day, go over to the Chamber website page. That is www.longmontchamber.org forward slash Longmont is open and you'll see on um, the different categories of industries that we um, are hoping to bring some awareness and, and showcase each day. So head over there. We're going to get started. Um, my name is Jessica Wanasek and I am the event director at the Longmont Chamber of Commerce. Um, we are here for Tuesday Tunes and Arts. So I see you guys coming on as you come on. Uh, comment, say something to us. Let us know that you're here and you're watching. Um, Tuesday Tunes and Arts is the day that we kind of highlight um, those businesses who um, are in some form or another the arts, uh, whether it's painting or dance or um, I'm not going to give away today's special guest, but uh, you're going to want to hang in there because I'm really excited about this one today. Um, so with that, I am actually going to bring on my special guest and let me grab him. So everybody, I would like you to say hello to Mr. Paul Williams with High Altitude Archery. Hi there. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Hi. everyone. How's it going? Hi, Paul. How are you today? Doing real well, thanks. Good, good, good. You're hanging in there, right? Absolutely. That's uh, <laughs> name of the game right now. Right? As best as you can, at least, huh? Yeah, absolutely. You know, and awesome. we're out here just trying to stay active and uh, keep our wraps on, on uh staying safe and healthy. Right? I agree. Well, I'm I'm super excited to have you on. Um, I shared with you a little bit about my, my history with archery. Uh, in my um, 100 years ago, I was a campfire girl. So I thought I was, you know, pretty good at archery myself. But I don't know if I tried it these days. I think everybody would be running for cover. It's probably not going to get not, not be good. Oh, I don't know about that. I think you probably do just fine. Oh, kind of keep your arrows pointed down range uh <laughs> work out okay and you know the most important thing really is just to have fun right, right. um you know that that's uh <clears throat> why why i'm here is because i enjoy the sport and uh, i really enjoy helping others learn about the sport and get involved in the sport and uh you know hopefully we can see you out too soon 
I know I am. I, I during doing these um, lives, I have like a huge list of okay. Once things are rocking again, I have a whole list of places that I'm going to be visiting when this is all done. So you're going to see me over there. You bet. Well, you know, it, it's actually one of those things that you can come out and do right now. We've gone to great lengths to make sure that our space is uh, safe and healthy for everybody who wants to come visit, even if we have to stay six feet apart and, and wear our face masks and everything. You know, all of our staff is issued with these these face masks, which I'm not going to wear while I'm doing the interview. But, uh, and we have uh, our lanes marked off at six feet intervals. So. Uh, as well as uh, some great partnerships with local businesses, like we work with Long Tucky Distillery, uh, who helps us get some um, some of their uh, you know their 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 waste from their distilling process makes great hand sanitizer, and so we've been using that at the range too. Right, I know we um we just did a great feel good lie uh, feel good Friday with them live last Friday, so that was pretty cool. Um, so we're getting a few people on here. Hi Kelly and hi Rachel, we're glad to have you guys with us. There's a few people out there who are watching but still haven't commented yet. So let us know uh, that you are here, you guys. Uh, this is Paul Williams. He is the manager over at High Altitude Archery. Um, so, Paul, I like to kind of, I know some people know where you are and all about you, but I like to uh, let the audience know the ones that don't know about you. Where are you located? Yeah, so we're right in, in Longmont, just outside of, um, you know, the, the kind of Main Street downtown district. If you're familiar with the area, you'll know the Sugar Mill is being one of the big uh, landmark areas around. And uh, we're just actually north of the Sugar Mill. So if you were to, to draw a line straight north between the Sugar Mill and Third Street, we're right there in the middle, uh, right behind the Dodge dealership off of 3rd and Alpine. Very cool. 3rd and Alpine. I know right where you are. Um, how long has uh, you guys, how, how long have you guys been around? Yeah, so High Altitude Archery as a business has been around since 2012. Uh, it was opened by a gentleman by the name of uh, Tom Adjutant, uh, who is a, a really um, exceptional archer and uh, pillar in the community, uh, decided that he really wanted to have a great place to come and practice his craft, practice archery. Uh, in 2016, uh, uh, my wife and I uh, purchased the business from Tom, and uh, we've connect, con tried to continue that uh, that tradition by uh, primarily focusing on the sport of archery and the practice of the skills around archery uh, with the appropriate uh, equipment and and uh, and services to support that. Very cool. Very cool. Um, so I know you said that you're open now. Have you had to uh, or modify your hours or anything like that? Or can you tell everybody what hours you guys are open? For sure. Yeah. Right now we're open uh, Tuesday through Friday from noon until 8 p.m., Saturday from uh, 9 a.m. until uh, 5 p.m., and Sunday 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Perfect. Uh, and then during that time, you can come in. We have open range hours uh, for, for just shooting at the open range. Uh, we have also equipment available for purchase, and we are offering uh, private lessons at the moment. Um, and we also have a 24-hour access range. So if you want to come shoot, but you can't make it between those er uh, those times, we do have memberships available for, for somebody who might need to come at a different time. Oh, that's very cool. I love it. Um, okay. So I with that, you kind of led me into that. So I am, um, besides the lessons and, and everything um, that you guys do over there, you also have a really strong retail scene over there. Is that right? You have like an online shop. We do have a small online shop, uh, and we also have uh, plenty of plenty more retail items here in the store. Uh, thousands of arrows. Uh, we have several dozen bows to choose from, um, up and uh, as well as all of the accessories, uh, sights, stabilizers, uh, arrow rests, um, arm guards, shooting gloves, other equipment that you might need, quivers, cases, etc., uh, and targets if you wanted to uh, set up a range in your own space. All that is available, and it can be kind of intimidating getting through, and that's why we have uh, our staff here who's uh, professional um, in, professionals in the archery uh, world with uh, our USA Archery certifications, as well as just a lot of um, experience and passion about the sport to help guide you through whatever you're looking for. Very cool. And you guys that are watching, uh, if you want to head over to um, the website, you're going to want to go to www.highaltitudearchery.com. And all of that information that Paul just shared is over there. Uh, so you can feast your little eyeballs on that because I know it's a lot to throw at you. 
um, during a live. So with that and without further ado, Paul, I'm actually going to turn it over to you and you have um, some fun stuff that you're going to show us today. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, that's great. I'm just going to turn around over here and I've got some equipment that I'd like to show. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to show you is just one of our, our standard recurve bows. This is the same bow that, that uh, one of the bows actually that we use for our rental equipment. It's a Samic Polaris bow. It's a great introductory bow. Um, comes with everything that you need to get started shooting. Uh, and then uh, it's real easy to use, real easy to handle in your, in your own yard if you wanted or to have something here at the range. Uh, the shot process is pretty simple. Grab my arrow, attach my arrow to the bow. I make my three little fingers, one finger above, two fingers below. I'm just gonna point that right down range, draw back, find my anchor right on my face. And then when I'm ready, I'm gonna relax my fingers and let the string escape. And away it goes. That is such a cool sound, I love it. <laughs> For sure. Uh, so that's a basic bow and that's what a lot of people start off with. It's what we start folks off with our classes and lessons. Uh, and even if you've never touched a bow before, or if it, as, as in your case, it's been, you know, a, a year or two since you've last shot archery. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> um, you know, you can come on down and within 20 minutes, we can get you to the point where you're uh, shooting and having a good time uh, with, with your family or just even by yourself. Uh, just with one, these, with one of these really simple, easy to use introductory bows. Nice. So as you viewers come on and Paul is showing us a, a demo of a little bit of archery. If you have questions for Paul, shoot those in the comments and we'll try and get those answered as well. Um, so again, comment, let us know that you guys are here. And if you have any questions, let us know. Absolutely. I love answering questions about all this stuff. That's why I'm here. So, you know, there's, a, there's also other kinds of uh, equipment that people use uh, for archery as well. You know, a, a modification to that basic uh, recurve bow is, is this guy here. Holy cow. Yeah, and this is an Olympic recurve, right? And it's very similar to the basic recurve. Uh, it, it still has limbs, it still has a riser and a grip, still has a string, right? It just has a couple of other bits on here. It's got a movable sight and uh, a, sta a set of stabilizers that help to mitigate motion around when you're at hold. You know, this is this is exactly the same kind of equipment that uh, archers use when they're in the Olympics. That's very cool. The big difference between what you would be shooting in the Olympics and what you're shooting here is here, our range is set up for about 20 yards. Uh, and that seems like kind of a distance, but then uh, if you were in the Olympics, you'd be shooting 70 meters, which is actually 77 yards or three quarters of a football field. That's so cool. What's that? Uh, what's that Olympic sport where they ski and then they they have to shoot? What is that? That cross country? That's biath. That's called biathlon. That's a winter sport. In the Olympics, it's done with a uh, a rifle, not with a bow. Oh, right. a version of that. Uh, and I think that there's actually a course. Uh, I want to say near Vail that does that. Oh, that's cool. So we're getting a few. Um, so the Chamber of Commerce, somebody posted and said, I still remember your ribbon cutting where you shot the ribbon for the cut. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. So we had, uh, the, <laughs> we had the, the ribbon cutting ceremony out here and we had it rigged so that uh, the, the ribbon went over a balloon and uh, we shot the balloon when the balloon popped, the ribbon fell. Oh, super cool. Yeah, and we have we have a question. Uh, Karen is asking: Is high altitude archery open right now? Yes, we are open. We do have some modified procedures in order to maintain safety, um, so we are open. And again, our hours are from uh, noon until eight p.m. on uh, Tuesday through Friday, and then eleven or I'm sorry, nine to five on Saturday and eleven to five on Sunday. Uh, during that time, we're open for. Uh, for open range. Uh, we have private lessons available as well as our retail areas. Um, we do have a reduced capacity right now. So we are, um, we do have six feet distances on the lanes marked out so that nobody would be shooting closer than six feet from one another. And with that, our space is fairly large. Uh, even with the reduced capacity, we can get 19 shooters in here safely. Jeez, that's cool. 
And as I was mentioning before, if those hours don't work for you, we do have a 24 hour access membership. Uh, that gets you a um, little key fob, which will open up the side door and into uh, a separate area where you will have a 20 yard range any time of the day or night. Uh, just one of these little key fobs here. Nice. What is the longest distance that you have uh, shot to a, like a target? Oh, uh, I'm not very ambitious about that. Uh, <laughs> I've only shot about 60 yards, but there's a lot of folks out there who will shoot 100, 120 yards or more. In fact, there are archery games that uh, where, where the name of the game is distance. Uh, two styles of archery, one called clout archery and one called flight archery. In clout archery, uh, they use a target like a barrel uh, or a flag that is out at some distance, could be uh, anywhere between uh, 60 and 120 yards, and you'll try to shoot closest to the flag. And then the other one, flight archery, is simply distance, the longest, uh, longest arrow from the starting position wins. So there's a lot of fun things you can do. A lot of times, uh, in they'll, they'll they'll kind of have those kinds of competitions as part of a uh, part of a, a more traditional archery target tournament, and then they'll kind of throw in one of the, one or two of those fun little tournaments just just to have something to do during the when they're when they're tabulating scores. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So we're getting uh, Kelly Mahoney asked, um, "Do you usually host any leagues?" You know, we usually do. Um, any given time of the year, we typically would have one or two league nights going on. Sometimes they're target leagues. Uh, sometimes they are uh, 3D leagues where we use uh, foam animal or foam replicas of animals as targets. Um, right now, though, because of the um, social distancing requirements and not having too many people in, in one, one area, uh, we've postponed those until later in the fall sure. when we have more clarity about what's safe. Very cool. Nice. Would you have anything else you want to show us there, Paul? Absolutely. So I showed you a couple of recurves. We also we also uh, have what's called compound bows. Now the biggest and most obvious difference between a recurve bow and a compound bow is that a compound bow has these wheels on. These wheels are called cams, and they provide a mechanical advantage so that a shooter can uh, pull and hold more draw weight which gives you more power behind the arrow with less effort. Huh. Uh, and it's called a compound bow? That's called what that's called? Bow? Yeah. And it's called, it's called a compound because of the, the multiple different kinds of action uh, on the, the limbs, these short little limbs here. And this is an example of a bow that might be used for hunting or maybe uh, somebody's first bow uh, that, they might, that they might own uh, if they're just getting into the sport uh, and wanted to get a compound. Um, and it has a lot of the same kinds of components, it just has a different shape, right? So it's got the limbs, it's got the riser, it's got an air rest, it's got a sight. Uh, it has a few extra things though. It's got this little loop here where we would connect a release to draw back and hold it with a mechanical release. And it's got a peep sight that helps draw a line from the, where we're looking on the string to the sight so that we can be more accurate. Huh. And this, this is just an example of one that you might use for hunting. Now, um, with the compound bow, there is, is it more tension do you get with the wheels, or is it just more of a compact, like it's all in a nice little package? You know, it's both actually. Okay. Uh, so the because of the shape of the because of the shape of these cams up here, you can draw and hold more energy than you can with just a basic recurve. Gotcha. And that gives you an advantage in terms of the amount of energy that gets put through the arrow and gets imparted onto the target, as well as um, just basically being smaller in, in size. So okay. you can see, you know. The, yeah, the quite a bit. Size. And so like, this is a lot easier if you were tracking, um, you know, an elk through the forest to get this around the brush than something like this would be. Not to mention that uh, this bow here is 20 pounds and this one is 70 pounds. So oh my gosh. more energy. Yeah. So Karen is being a goofball and she's saying, what type of bow does Katniss Everdeen use? Like in the Hunger Games, do you know? Yeah, no, she used, she used a recurve. She used the recurve. <laughs> and actually the, the, the name is escaping me, but the uh, actress who played Katniss was actually trained by Katsuna Lorig, who is an Olympic archer and up until recently lived in Broomfield. 
Oh, nice. And then we have another comment. Hi, Camilo. Uh, Camilo Pineda says, my boys love the kid classes at high altitude archery and they do great birthday parties there. Oh, well, thank you very much. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we have a great time with the kids. They really enjoy it. Oh, I bet. So this is a, another uh, kind of bow that we've got. This is a, a, a target compound. So it's similar to the, the other compound that I brought out, except for that it's longer. Uh, and it's got the, the long stabilizers on it, as well as um, a site that's been optimized more for target usage. That looks like some serious machinery right there. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is actually my son's bow. Uh, oh, very cool. Yeah, and so we have a lot of fun with that. So yeah, we do, uh, we do uh, we, outside, of, outside of COVID-19 times, we definitely do a lot of events. Uh, we do corporate team building events, birthday parties. Um, we, we've worked with scout groups uh, in the past. And these are all things that we love to do, which right now we're, of course, uh, trying to keep everybody safe and, and uh, healthy. So we're, we're yeah. you know, pulling back on those events. But that is something that we will do and we'll continue to do once we have more clarity from the, from the county about what, what safety uh, protocols need to be in place. Well, I look forward to that. Now, um, when we were talking before uh, going live, you were saying something about um, you have an event coming up or a couple of down the road events. Yeah, you know, we've, we're always trying to do something uh, around here. Uh, and the thing that we've got coming up right now is we are hosting an elk calling seminar, an elk calling seminar uh, with the um, with world champion, seven time world champion elk caller, Tom Beasling. <laughs> Tom is actually a native of uh, Loveland and he runs a company that builds elk calls called Mile High Note Game Calls. And he's gonna be joining us to host a seminar on how to call elk in, uh, either for hunting or if you're just hiking and you wanna get a little bit closer to the animals and have them come to you. Oh, that's pretty cool. Are you gonna, can you demonstrate an elk call? Uh, you, oh no, I'm not ready to do that, sorry. I'm actually not much of an elk caller. We'll have to wait for Tom to, to uh, <laughs> but he's very impressive. You, can, you should- no, You can't just go here, elky, elky, here, right, elky. Exactly. <laughs> I just don't know how effective that <laughs> Doggone it. I tried that with moose, they tend to go the other way. I haven't figured that out yet. Yeah, yeah. Moose see me and they're like, hey, peace out. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> the way. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, when when are you hosting that elk calling seminar? Do you know yet? Yeah, so the elk calling seminar, we have a, uh, a, both a beginner and an advanced. So the beginner uh, seminar is on June 8th uh, from 7 to 8. Uh, those tickets are actually going really fast. Like I said, because just like everything else, we've got to have a smaller number of people around. And yeah. so those, you know, that's actually filling up pretty quickly. So if you're interested in that, you should probably uh, hop on over and, and check it out. Uh, and then we have an advanced elk calling seminar on um, June 16th from seven to eight. Very cool. And um, all that information is on your website as well, the tickets and all that? Absolutely, all that information is on the events part of our website. Okay. Um, it's there's a it's a nominal fee. It's ten dollars to come in. Uh, you get your uh, with the in the beginner class. You'll get a, an elk call uh, as part of that entry fee, uh, and it's a practical hands-on uh, type of class. So we'll be making some noise. Nice, nice. Well, um, with that, so every day, Paul, um, I've been having um, my guest who's on help me with um, a daily giveaway, a prize of some sort. Do you want to tell our viewers what today's uh, giveaway is? Sure, well, what we'd like to do is we'd like to give away to one lucky viewer, a uh, one hour private lesson for two people. Woo, that is awesome. And awesome. that would include all of your range access, all of your equipment rentals, and the hour with one of our highly qualified instructors. That is an amazing giveaway. How, how cool. One of you lucky people out there, and I see all of you. So uh, now is your chance. So I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, Paul and I were just chit-chatting a little bit. So hopefully you were paying attention because uh, this question is uh, the first person who gets the answer correct in the comments uh, wins that private lesson for two people at uh, the high altitude archery, okay? 
All it was right. exciting. Hopefully everybody was taking notes. Right? Hopefully they're paying attention. Okay. So here is your question. What kind of animal call is Paul hosting a seminar in June? We specifically said the kind of animal. What is it? Ready, set, go. Put that in the comments. And the first person who comes in with the correct answer will win that private lesson. So I always feel like I need like a drum roll or something here. Yeah, Paul. Right? right? Hopefully something. it's not so long that we need the Jeopardy theme. I know, right? <laughs> Hopefully they get it quicker than that. So, yeah, he, um, we were talking about a certain kind of animal uh, that you do a call for. Oh, oh, we have a winner. It looks like Lenore Knox with elk. You are our hey, winner. Congratulations, Lenore. Yay. Good job. Wow, that was some fast typing there, Eleanor. Or Lenore. I almost called you Eleanor. Oh. <laughs> Close. Kelly Kelly came in a second when saying a turkey. Not quite, Kelly. <laughs> it, the answer was elk. So, uh, Lenore, you are today's giveaway winner. You won uh, the private lesson, archery lesson for two. Um, so, Paul, I will get Lenore's information and I'll connect you guys and, and Lenore will get that information off to you. So, congrats to you, big winner today. And uh, with that, Paul, I really want to say a big, huge thank you for joining me today. Oh, thank you. It's been so much fun. Right? I've had a, a, a lot of, uh, um, of these lives and I've learned a ton. And so now I am super pumped to get over there. And my kids uh, both have an interest in archery too. So I think you're going to be seeing us quite a bit over there for sure. Well, sounds great. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to seeing all the viewers here too. Awesome. Thank you so much. And you have a good rest of your day. Okay. All right. Thank you. Take care. Bye. So that was fun. Uh, and Lenore, you big lucky winner today, a uh, private lesson over at the high, uh, high altitude archery. You get a private lesson for two. So uh, make sure that you email me and you can email me at it's, it's scrolling, but it's also J Wanasek. It's W A N E C E K at longmontchamber.org and we will get you connected with Paul to uh, collect your prize. Um, I'm, I'm super excited. I wanna get over there right now and, and shoot some things. <laughs> so uh, that is our Tuesday's Tunes and Arts today. You guys are gonna wanna come right back here at 4 p.m. tomorrow for our Wednesday We Shop. And um, my partner in crime, Karen, is going to be uh, hosting another amazing retailer tomorrow. And you guys all uh, come back, tune in for another chance to win um, a really, really cool giveaway. And I'm going to tell you that right now. It's a really cool giveaway for tomorrow. So you're going to want to tune in 4 p.m. here. Otherwise, we will see you. I love you all. Thank you so much for supporting the chamber and all of our local businesses who are kicking butt right now. So you guys. Be well, and we will see you right back here tomorrow. Thanks.